Hi everyone, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another plan with me. Today we are planning for the week of May 11th through the 17th. And before we get started, I just wanted to show you guys how last week turned out. So if you watch this plan with me, you know that I tried something a little different than normal. I really, really love using my full boxes, but I was starting to feel like they were getting in the way of the time slots and being able to schedule things in. And it was causing me to like forget that meetings were happening at certain times, which I'm sure if you guys are basically working from Zoom meetings, you know exactly what I mean. It's for some reason so difficult to keep track of those. But I just wanted to take a new approach and rather than using my full boxes in the middle of the day like I would during a work day, um, I decided to just use the bo full boxes as sort of a filler um, for the space that I ended up not using throughout the week. And I don't know, I kind of like the way it turned out. It feels a little uneven, but I also like how it sort of looks less structured. So just for some reference, the previous week, <laughs> I used full boxes on every single day. So while the full boxes look really neat, they also were in the way of certain times that I had scheduled things. So like my therapy appointment that was at one o'clock was in the four o'clock slot. And yes, I still wrote one o'clock on it, but it looks like it falls later in the day. And I think that's the issue I was having with some of these meetings was like this 1 p.m. meeting being further down in the day. I ended up thinking that meeting was at four o'clock and I completely missed it. So during the normal school year, I love planning this way. I love having these full boxes slap down in the middle of the day when I would normally be at work because obviously there's nothing that I'm scheduling during my work day. But since things are weird right now and now that we're getting into summer, I have a lot going on in the middle of my days. So this just seemed to work better for me functionally but I can't say that I feel like it's as aesthetically pleasing, but at the end of the day, I am more of a functional planner and that's what's more important. So I'm probably going to try this again for this week. I really did love having my meals put in my planner because it was my first week of meal planning and I had to reference back to it multiple times to remember what the heck I was gonna be making. And I actually stuck with it. The only thing I ended up not making was the lemon chicken on Thursday, and that's because I forgot to buy all of it when we went grocery shopping the first time, and then I didn't feel like going back to the grocery store, so. I'm saving that for this week. I think I'm actually gonna try and make it, and I'm really excited about it, but overall, I love the way that the spread turned out, and Mother's Day was lots of fun. I think it's the most socializing that I have done in the past however many months we've been in this quarantine thing, and I'm super exhausted. I'm actually filming this at like 10 o'clock at night. So who knows how interesting this plan with me is gonna get because I'm really tired and I'll probably forget a million things, but I do that normally. So yeah, let's just see how this goes. All right, so let's go ahead and start planning for this week. I will be using a kit from Orange Umbrella Co. I love this kit and just a heads up, Pretty much all of my May kits are floral, so if you don't like floral, well, you're probably gonna hate my plan with these, but it's fine. So this kit is called May Flowers, and I really, really love it because they incorporate black, which is something I feel like you don't see that much in spring kits, and it matches my nails. By the way, shout out to Julie G over at Julie's Plans. This is the Essie Mint Candy Apple nail polish that she's been wearing for the past like month because she's so in love with it and I also fell in love with it and so I of course had to go buy it. So thank you Julie because it's such a beautiful color and it matches the kit this week which I totally did not plan and I love that it worked out that way. Anyways, I love that this kit incorporates black because that's not really what you normally see in a springtime kit but she did it really really well and it's super super pretty. All right, so everything that I ordered I have the strip headers here with the weekend sticker, and then I have the washi strips, the full boxes, which I really love these full boxes. <laughs> so maybe I am gonna use them, I don't know, we'll see. And then I have the half and quarter box sheet, and then this is sheet one and sheet two, which are like the main sampler sheets. 
Like I've mentioned a million times when I use her kits, you can totally get by with just these two sheets. You do not need any of the extra add-ons in order to have a complete set. These are more than enough stickers and you have such a variety and they're just incredibly functional and I just love them. And as always, just as a reminder, I do have a discount code for their shop, which will of course always be linked down below. When you get to checkout, just plug in Taylor15 to receive 15% off your entire order. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put down my layout for the week and we're just gonna speed through this so you guys don't have to listen to me be crazy. By the way, I have no idea why I have the strip headers when the strip headers come on the sampler sheet. So just a heads up, don't order these separately because you already have them. Now I will say, if you do decide to order them separately, you will probably be able to use this kit twice because there is plenty of washi and plenty of stickers, I say this every time, that you could probably use the kit for two weeks, which is probably something I should start doing and start using what I have. But yeah, so just a heads up, you totally don't need to buy this extra sheet, but it does have the weekend sticker, which I really like to use. So if that's something you like to add to your spread, then definitely grab the add-on. Okay, so normally I would use whatever sticker is on this sheet to cover up my hexagon, but I don't think I wanna use the white roses next to this washi up here because they're just, that would be exactly the same, which would bug me. So I'm kind of thinking that I wanna use this one. I don't know. I also really, really love this pattern. But this just kind of looks like a full box that belongs up there. So I think I'm gonna do that. So when I'm looking at it in real life, I like it, but then when I look at it up in the picture frame, I don't like it. So I don't know if I want that full box there. Actually, I like the sticker. I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay. Continuing on, let me set up the rest of my sidebar. Okay, so that looks really good. I just have my to-do list and then the this week section is where I just write down the YouTube videos that I plan on getting done for the week. And then one more thing before we move on, I do want to add that weekend sticker because it just feels more complete also i have these little sticky notes just flying everywhere because that's how this is going okay so i think i want to i don't know how i want to layer the weekend sticker i kind of want to put it at the top but it's really chunky so i also kind of want to put it down here at the bottom Ooh, that looks really nice i like it okay <sighs> We finally have everything laid out <laughs> and we can move on to planning my week, which is the whole point of this, right? All right, so let's just take this day by day. Obviously, I always have a better idea of what's going on in the beginning of the week and then as we get to the end of the week, I pretty much plan as I go. So we're gonna go ahead and start with Monday. All right, so I have a couple things that going on on Monday. It's actually kind of a busy day. I'm sort of playing catch up from my very not productive weekend. So first thing I need to do Monday is pull a winner from my giveaway and contact that person. And then 
I need to go grocery shopping because I didn't get my grocery shopping done today since it was Mother's Day. I thought I was going to end up doing it later in the evening and obviously I never got to that. So I'm going to do my grocery shopping on Monday and then I have my therapy appointment at one and then I'm doing another virtual Arbonne event at eight o'clock in the evening. So let's just, I think I'm going to go ahead and put the giveaway winner up here on a little checkbox so I can check off when I get that done. What do I want to use? I think I want to use this green color that doesn't seem to match the rest of the kit, but we're going to go with it. So that's going to go here and I'll just write giveaway on there. And then groceries, I'd like to get moving and go around nine or 10 tomorrow. So I think I'm going to put it on a half box since that'll take a little bit of time. Actually, I think I'm going to put it on a quarter box. So we're going to put that here in the 9 and 10 o'clock block. And hopefully I actually get up in the morning and do that. Actually, okay, no, let's back up. I probably need to edit before I go grocery shopping. So I'm going to do that first thing instead. Okay. We're going to switch this up. I think I'm going to do grocery shopping right after my therapy appointment. So I will kind of put it in the two and three section since I don't, I mean, it's not necessary that I go first thing in the morning. I just need to make sure I get my groceries for dinner because what I'm cooking on Monday, I don't have the stuff for. So we're going to put that down there and then I'm going to put editing first thing tomorrow. So let me grab my editing stickers. I'm probably going to put that on a larger box because I can already tell you this video is going to take me a while to edit. Let's just put it on this black full box or half box. Okay, perfect. And then therapy will be at one. So we're going to put that on an appointment label. And we're going to put it on this white green one and then down at the bottom is where I will put my Arbonne event and there we go so Monday as you can see is already going to be uh, a jam-packed day but most Mondays are we'll get through it and then Tuesday I have my work meeting at 10 a.m. And then I'm going to try and catch Plain with Lakin's Lattes with Lakin question and answer video that she's doing at 11. So hopefully I'll just be able to do those back to back. One thing I will say, and let me know in the comments if you are the same way, but I... <laughs> really struggle with like color balance when I'm putting kits together. It's so important to me that the colors are balanced well throughout the spread and that I don't have too many of the same color close together. But then it also makes this process take so much longer because I can't figure out what colors to use. It's quite annoying. Okay, so those are the only two things I have planned officially for Tuesday. Wednesday, I also don't have anything specifically going on. Thursday, I have another staff meeting at 9 a.m. Okay, and then let's go ahead and just flip to my monthly spread. Okay, yeah, absolutely nothing going on that week. So actually this week is going to be our last full week of school and then they're not having us do anything. Technically our last day is on the 20th, but um, we're not doing like any more online stuff. I think that's when we will have um, a meeting at the school and the students will come drop off their iPads and different things like that and we actually might have the opportunity to get to see them. Uh, but that's still kind of up in the air. But yeah, this is like our full last week of school, which is kind of crazy, honestly. 
I feel like this time at home was like really slow, but also flew by at the same time. It's so weird. Okay, and then I'm gonna add in church on Sunday because I have not been attending church online the past few weeks and I really would like to get back at it. In fact, I haven't actually checked, but the church I've been going to might be meeting again in person, but I'm still iffy about meeting in person um, in big crowds because I just feel like it's a little soon in my own opinion, uh, but I'm still gonna add it just in hopes that I will actually go <laughs> or watch it online or whatever. Okay, and then hopefully I will um, go grocery shopping on Sunday morning. Well, I guess it could be the evening too. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't really matter a whole ton. But pretty much every Sunday for me has been groceries, lesson planning, and my plane with me is obviously unless I have other things going on. So I think I'm going to kind of just lay out that that same plan and that's what I'm gonna shoot for. So I'll put groceries up at the top, but I don't know if I will actually go that early. And then um, I'm gonna put, I guess I won't have to lesson plan actually, so that's not gonna be on my to-do list, but I will put my plan with me here in the evening because that seems to be usually when I get it done. And yeah, there we are. So think that that's really all that I have planned for the week. It's not, um, I think it's going to really just be kind of a daily to-do list sort of week. I'm probably going to be a lot in my daily planner and sit down um, every day and sort of plan as I go, which has just been what's easiest while being here at home. I have a lot to do around the apartment. I still have so much furniture I need to purchase and um, a lot of organization I need to get done. So I'm, I'm really hoping to make more progress this week in that area. Last week, I just, I don't know. I kind of got in a funk when it came to getting things done with my apartment. I just kind of wanted to try and get back into some different routines. And um, now I feel like I need to switch gears and get back into trying to put this place together and get the things that I need for it. So a lot of my time next week is probably going to be centered towards planning things for my apartment. But other than that, I think this is all I'm going to put down for now. It does feel really weird not using my full boxes again. I feel like, especially when I'm doing these plan with me's, it just feels very incomplete. But I think with how it worked for me last week, I was just so much more in my planner because I was sitting down at the beginning of each day and actually planning out like blocking out my day. And so I think that's how I want this to go for next week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write in what I do have and then we'll wrap this plan with me up. Okay, so I actually ended up finding an extra um, grocery sticker from one of my other orange umbrella kits that I didn't use. So that worked out perfectly since I have to go grocery shopping twice this week. Um, but yeah, I'm also gonna leave this film sticker blank as always because sometimes I film more than one video on Sundays. So I just wanna leave it there depending on what I need to film. So that should be everything as far as what I know for sure right now. Again, it's really just going to be a take it day by day sort of week. So we will see how this turns out. And hopefully I get better about actually posting my week's progress on my Instagram. That's something that I'm really, really trying to work on. So if you're interested in seeing how my weeks progress and end up looking, Go check out my Instagram. This is me holding myself accountable by telling you guys to go look at it. 
Oh my gosh, I forgot my meal plans. I knew there was something. This was looking just a little too empty. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna put my meal plans on these skinny labels. And then I have my Planner Kate meal icon stickers. So that's how we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna put them, I think, down at the five o'clock time slot. Even though, honestly, I usually eat dinner way later than that, but that's just what we're gonna do because it makes sense. Okay, so I just meal plan for Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday, I just sort of leave up in the air. Saturday is usually like leftovers or takeout. And then Sunday is always just kind of, it depends because it feels like every Sunday is different and I never know what dinner is really gonna look like, so. All right, then I'm gonna use these. I think I'm gonna use, I honestly just wish I had the regular uh, black ones but I bought the colorful one, so that's what I have to work with. I think I'm gonna use like the mint green color. We'll just go with that. Okay, I think I wanna make those alternate instead, maybe with these pink ones. Okay. We're just gonna go with it. So I kind of created themes. I talked about this in my plan with me last week, but I already decided to kind of switch some of my themes up. So Mondays were gonna be my pasta nights, but I think I'm gonna switch Mondays to my meat and vegetable night. Tuesdays are gonna stay Taco Tuesday. It's really more of like a Mexican Tuesday because I'm, I'm not gonna keep it just at tacos. And then Wednesday is a leftovers night. Thursday is gonna be my pasta night and then Friday will be frozen or box food. I'm really just gonna call it easy food day, something like that, I don't know. Those are kind of my general themes and um, yeah, so Monday this week will be lemon chicken and asparagus, which was what I was gonna cook last Thursday and didn't end up doing. So that's gonna be Monday. Tuesday, we're gonna do um, chicken fajitas. Wednesday is leftovers. Thursday is penne pasta. And then Friday, I'm gonna leave blank, which is what I did last week. Um, and I'll decide when it is closer to. Again, it's probably just gonna be some sort of frozen or boxed meal to keep Friday simple. Cause honestly, by the, that was another reason I switched these was because I felt like Monday I'm really motivated and in the mood to cook a nice meal. So doing like a meat and veggies type of meal seemed more fitting. And then having pasta on Thursday because Thursday I'm just much more exhausted and want something easy. And then Friday I want to keep it even more simple. So I'm just going to stick with frozen and box food. So we're going to see how that goes. I might change up the themes every week depending on what's working and what's not and hopefully I'll end up getting into a groove and find something that I really want to stick with. All right, so I'm going to wrap up this plan with me here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please be sure to also hit that subscribe button. I do upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you all so much. And I can't wait to see you all next time. Bye guys.